How's it going everyone? Welcome back to another episode. On today's video, we will be doing the upstairs living area as well as the staircase linking to the lower ground level. This is just a living area. The only works that will really need to be done after the framing stage is pretty much just the same engineered flooring as we did for pretty much all the bedrooms and the living rooms downstairs. And we will also be framing this wall out behind me just because that's a single skin wall and we can't get any power on either side without showing the cables coming around. You may have seen on the other clip that the glass behind me here had two different colored panels on either ends. What we've done is we've been able to find the exact glass that the house uses. So we've sent the windows back to get consistency throughout the entire house. So the works in this upstairs living area here is behind me. We have a staircase going down to the ground level. On this wall here behind this is the master bedroom. This is a single skin wall. So we have to put another layer a wall beyond this so we can run uh, power and data up through here. On the back wall behind me, we did have a desk with a linen over here, but just to save some space, we've removed the desk area, but we're keeping this linen just to make this space look a bit bigger. What we'll also be doing for the flooring is that we'll continue the engineered timber flooring through this area as we did for the ground level and for the other bedrooms in the house. This is pretty much because we use the yellow tongue over here, so we can't sand that back to the original floorboards. Now that that's all done, what we do first in this area is we'll build this wall out to have the second skin. All the electrical works will be roughed in. Then we move on to the wall sheeting and the ceiling sheeting, then moving on to the engineered timber flooring. So everyone, it's been about a week since that last part of the video and what we've done is we've completed the electrical and AC works in the upstairs living area. So because we have the raked ceilings in the living area tying into the flat ceiling, what we've done is we've had to drop the ceiling in this high point here by about 60 mil so it ties in smoothly. So similar to the other rooms, we have all the wiring hanging down in the ceiling for the LED lights going in as well as the smoke detectors. On the wall behind me, we've got uh, noggings put in just for a TV to be wall mounted. Unlike some of the other rooms, because they don't have wiring for TVs, this one has run an aerial cable as well as a data point to service a TV going here. What we've also done in this week's gap is cut out the opening for the staircase going in. This should come in in about two weeks time. So now that all the electrical and AC works are done in the upstairs living area, we can move on to sheeting all the walls in a VJ panel to tie in with the rest of the house, as well as the gyprock ceilings. So to keep consistency throughout the house, we'll be continuing the engineered timber flooring throughout this section, continuing down to the front veranda space. So as you would have seen in that video just before, we have now completed all the gyprox sheeting for the entire house. As you can see on the ceilings here, what we're gonna do for the walls, which are some are still left off, as you can see behind me, we're doing that VJ panel just to tie in with the rest of the original house. So for the next stage of the video, what we're gonna start doing is we're gonna start finishing off the sheeting of some of these walls here, and also this one behind me in that VJ panel, as well as getting in the setters and the sanders to start patching all these sort of cracks and screw holes in the ceiling and sanding it down to a smooth finish to get it ready for the painters. So following on from that last part, as you can see now, we are in the shared uh, living area upstairs. The ceiling has all been set and sanded. You can see all the, the openings for the AC here, as well as a couple of little ones for the lights and for the smoke detectors just above the stairs here. But we have completed all the sheeting as well in this. As you can see behind me, we have the MDF sheeting. And on this side over here, we have the original VJ walls. You can see from the slight little color difference where it's been primed. So as you can see, we're in the shared living room now. The, all the walls, all the MDF VJ sheeting has been installed, as you can see all over here. And we've kept all the original stuff to this side here. We've reused as much as we can. We've completed all the architraves around the door openings before it all gets painted. And we've even kept the old breezeways from the original house. So as you can see on your screen, the painters have come in and they've done two coats to all the walls. They've only done three coats to the ceilings just so the electricians and the AC people 
can come in and start fixing off all their works. They've also sprayed around the newly restored uh, colored glass all around here and down in the hallways and also in all the bathrooms and en suites on that side. But now that that's all done, what we're gonna be moving on to next is the electricians and the AC people are gonna come back in and they're gonna start fitting off all their works and the ceilings. So that includes all the downlights going in and the AC that's right here, that big hole in the ceiling. And then once that's done, the flooring people are gonna come in and they're gonna lay down that engineered timber flooring that's gonna continue into all the bedrooms upstairs and through all the corridors. While I'm also in this shared living area, the stairs have gone in and are almost complete. But the only thing I'm waiting for now is the handrails to go in, but all the steps are in, so we're not relying on that ladder to get us up to the second level. But this should be installed pretty soon. What I'm gonna do is install this after the flooring has gone down, just so the floor sanders, when they come in, they don't start whacking it with their sanders and damaging the handrails. Also on that note, before I forget, what I'm gonna do with the flooring throughout all the bedrooms and all of the shared living areas where we're gonna be putting the engineered timber flooring over the old flooring because it's just a little bit too damaged and because there's so many patches where we've just used a yellow tongue flooring system. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna have some floor sanding people come through. They're gonna do a light sand over the old uh, timber flooring here just to remove all these little bits and pieces like this, the old glue where they had glued the vinyl down from the initial demolition video, if you'd followed on right from the beginning, but they're gonna remove all this so that when the new timber flooring comes in, there won't be any little humps or bumps that will stand out. For those who haven't seen it, this is the underlay here going in beneath the engineered timber flooring going here later, as you can see out here in the hallway. But we have a rubber, pretty much just a rubber roll. Um, it's about three mil thick. And then what they're gonna do is they glue this down, then they put glue on top of it, and then they lay the timber flooring on top of that. For those who are curious about it, because I mentioned it quite a bit throughout this entire build, this is the engineered timber flooring that I've been talking about. So this is the finished side, the face up side that's gonna be going down on the floor. From the other side, it's just a bit of timber. It looks like ply when you look at it from the side with a, like a nice finish that's being glued on top. Um, for the fixing of it, we have a tongue and groove install. So this is the groove side here towards my face and we have the tongue on the other side. These just, these pieces literally just lock in together. Um, and what they do to fix it down is they lay that uh, rubber underlay that I had up before, and then they literally just put a bit of glue on top and lay this directly on top. And then they will weigh it down with some, in my case, they're just laying some boxes on top of the old stuff, just to weigh it down until it sets and goes off.
So as you've seen from that bit before, the flooring has gone in for the upstairs shared living area. And this is what it looks like now. So for this area, we've gone with a sort of American oak looking style to tie in with the timber staircase going over here. We have the new hand rail going in later, but for now, this is the new flooring system that's in place for the house. So while we also had the floor layers come through and install the flooring, for this shared living area, what I also did, we had the electricians come through and they've done all their fit off items for the high level power points for the uh, TVs that are fixed to the walls, as well as the low ones, uh, all power points in this, area, in this whole area, as well as all the ceiling fittings. So we have the down lights here and we also have some smoke detectors pretty much all around the entire upper level. So moving on from that, we're pretty much done with this upstairs shared living area, which have a few little details left. Going forward in the next stage, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna install the uh, stair handrail going in over here. We just have a little temporary one at the moment um, where we have the existing old VJ tying in with the new uh, drip rock uh, walls from downstairs. What we're gonna be doing is we're gonna install a skirting or like a nice detail to tie those two bits together. And then for this area, all we have left is a little wardrobe over here and then we have just a few little bits and bits and pieces and defects and all that until we can finish with this area and to get a better look at what the flooring sort of system is i'm in the stairwell now where we can get a side profile so you can see exactly how it all goes together so as you can see now this is the side profile of the flooring so if we're looking closer you can see that the old flooring is pretty much in line with the gyp rock the top of the gyp rock then that had a glue coating on top of that where we've laid that rubber underlay that black stuff running right through the middle and then we've had another layer of glue on top of that and we sit the new flooring system directly to that now that that's all done in the joinery people have come through the entire house and pretty much finished all their items over a sort of two-day period um what we've had in this room not much has changed but we, the linen closet has been installed here um, a security guy has also come through and he's put some extra security bars along the windows here. Um, not on the outside, just so you can keep them open um, or else you'll be able to swing them out. Um, but apart from that, not just change. We've had the electrician and the AC people come through. They've finished off all their items and their ceilings for the lights, the AC and the smoke detectors, as well as all the TV points, light switches and the power points in this area. And the carpenters have also come through and the painters, they've installed this stair handrail over here and the painters have come through. They've put a varnish coat on top to tie in with the staircase color and the timber color that we're using on the floors. And they've also painted all the balustrade going leading down to the level one. So moving on now, this room is pretty much done. We just have a few little touch-ups to do with the painters, a little bit of silicon that they've missed but we're pretty much done and ready to get out of this area. So moving on to next, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna pretty much get this house ready to sell. So what we're gonna be doing in the next episode is we're gonna have a full video done of the entire house so you can see pretty much where we started and where we're at now to get it ready to sell, um, all professionally done. So it'll look really nice. Um, and then from there, we'll move on to the sale video. But if you enjoyed the video today, be sure to leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And with that said, I'll see you on the next one.